There was a woman that lived here named the Key Woman. The Key Woman would snatch your keys. I was told if you wouldn't give them up, she was willing to beat you up. You better give me your keys, boy! You better give me your keys! She rode a bicycle everywhere she went, covered with keys that she was collecting from everybody that she met. People bring me keys from all over the world because they love the stories of the Key Woman. The cave house was actually built in 1926 as a speakeasy. During Prohibition, speakeasies were those secret clubs that you would go to, but you had to know the secret word. And they called them speakeasies because to get in the door, you had to know the secret word. Uh, you weren't supposed to blurt it out for everybody to hear, so you were to whisper or speakeasy. And so that's where you would come to get your alcohol. During Prohibition, when you saw an advertisement for a chicken restaurant, that was a clue to you, you could get alcohol there. So this was built as a chicken restaurant. I grew up going across the street to the park and so my family would go up and down this road and every time we passed it I was totally obsessed with that. 21 years ago after passing it all my life there was an article in the paper that highlighted it as a landmark and mentioned it was for sale and so I saw that as my perfect opportunity to come and see inside. They were only showing serious buyers and so I assured the realtor that I was. I had no intention of actually buying this place but the minute I walked in the door I knew I was supposed to be the owner. Well I was trying to figure out what in the world to do with it after we purchased it. Just the fact that people kept coming to the door and begging to look inside. It was very clear that to share it with everybody was the route to take. By giving tours, I'm able to share it, which of course makes it more fun than just owning it and keeping it to myself. And took a handful of bones and made this little dancing fairy. Oh. And put glitter and paint on. You're right, I love glitter. You might catch on to that going through here. I've talked to family members and friends of people who owned it or did business here or lived here for a while. I uh, have woven together those stories along with stuff that I have found out from some of our local historians, research I've done at the courthouse. All those are woven into the most wonderful stories. And a lot of people love the building, but they always say their favorite thing is the cave house stories. Since I have begun giving tours, I have gotten to meet people from all over the world. To me, it's all about the people that I meet. I always say the people that come in the door, the people that I was chosen to meet. I love that along with a loving Tulsa history, I am the caretaker of a big piece of Tulsa history. When I walk in the door, no matter how bad my day has been, and some days are a little hard, you know, like everybody else, when I walk in the door, really, it's a different me. And even though this is my job, sometimes it's kind of hard to even convince myself of that because I love coming over here so much and telling the stories and meeting all the people. This place doesn't just belong to me. People also feel like little pieces of it belong to them. It belongs to Tulsa. I tell people that I am the most blessed person that they will ever meet. I tell people that what they feel around here is everybody's love. So everybody is to soak up a little Cape House love and leave a little of their own behind. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> so I think that's what people feel when they come over because people always talk about what it feels like. It's not just about the stories and looking at the actual building. It's really an experience that you feel when you're over here.